Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jim Bacon. And I'm executive director of the Jefferson Council. We've got a jam-packed uh, program today, and it's my job to make sure the trains run on time. Now, it is my pleasure to meet and introduce a man who, in this crowd, needs no introduction. Please welcome the Jefferson Council's co-founder and president, President Emeritus, TJC's own member of the UVA Board of Visitors, survivor of the nastiest confirmation process in living Virginia his memory, and our fearless leader, Bert Ellis. Thank you, Jim. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I would like for everybody uh, let's see, to, to join me in one of the traditions that I love doing at the University of Virginia and wherever else I can. But would everybody please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag. I always feel better after I do that, so thank you for that. Uh, right now, my job is just to welcome you here, to give you just a, a little bit of background. Jim stole a little of my thunder. Of course, it was a very difficult uh, confirmation uh, hearing uh, at the General Assembly. Uh, they threw about everything they could at me, and as I was telling a couple of you, you know, that. The Senate is 22 to 18 right now, Democratic senators to Republican senators. Uh, that is something that we, as mem you know, interested uh, parties for the University of Virginia, need to do everything we can to help the governor flip that to at least 2020, if not uh, in, uh, a majority on the Republican side. You know, they thought for sure that they had the votes to, you know, to kill my appointment. Uh, they were totally surprised that I had flipped two of their Democratic senators unbeknownst to them. Uh, so it came out 20 to 20, and Winston Sears voted in my favor. So that's, that's why you have me, and I would like to tell everybody that I'm not going anywhere. You know, they've, they've thrown everything they can at me uh, uh, in terms of names. I actually wrote a letter to the Washington Post, and like so many things, I, I wrote the nasty letter and threw it in my my drawer and then decided not to, you know, to send it, but I had eight more names for them to call me that they hadn't used yet. Um, so I thought I'd just get it out on the table right now. Uh, uh, but the important thing is we have four of us on the Board of Visitors now, uh, and I may well be the most, you know, most known of the four because of the, the whole ordeal, uh, but the other three members of my class uh, feel exactly the same as I do about this university. They are, they will vote, you know, with me, or I will vote with them on very important things, uh, and they've all got the same amount of gumption and guts, and you know, you know, to stick the course, to stay the course, and take whatever flack they get. We will get four more appointees in the next month uh, from the governor. You know, there is a, there's about four people that work with the governor to choose those four. Uh, I will be meeting with, with two of them Thursday morning. I have spoken to all of them. Uh, I have given my recommendations that were a culmination of discussions with my fellow uh, members of the executive committee of, of the Jefferson Council. I think you will be very, very, very pleased with the, with the parties that the governor will be appointing. Uh, but I give there one warning that if we don't flip the Senate, there's still 22 to 18 that are loaded for bear, and they lost the chance to you know to shoot me in the head. So they may you know you know they'll be loaded for bear, and we're going to have to work on that. Uh, but that's a year from that's a year from now. Uh, as Jim noted. Uh, I am turning over the reins, or you know, to Tom Neal to be our. Our president, I am now President Emeritus. You won't have me to kick around any further. Uh, 
at the at the latter part of this program, I will give you an update specifically on some of the things that are happening at the Board of Visitors level, and specifically what I'm working on. Uh, but when I say I, I don't mean at the proverbial I that you know the four of us are working together on these things and some of these things I'm I'm the lead dog uh, others Doug Wetmore or Amanda Pillion or Steve Long are pushing the pushing the envelope uh, but we know right now we we're only four out of 17 votes so we're in the we're in the we're in the position of gathering information and figuring out how we can do what we want to do when we have 12 votes which will be 15 months But the, the most important thing that we're focusing on is to make sure that this university is a place that fosters free speech, open dialogue, and civil dialogue. I do not view those as redundant terms. They are all part of, a, of an academic education. And we ought to celebrate, promote, mandate all three of those positions. So I am going to do everything I can. We are going to do everything we can to facilitate that. Uh, and we want to make sure that, that this board and this university does not mandate political policy, social policy, gender or racial policy within the university through their faculty, through their administration, or through their students. Everybody should be entitled to make up their own opinion without having the university mandate any of those. I have no thought in my mind that by virtue of us at the Jefferson Council, we're gonna turn this university into a conservative school. Don't need to do that. I just need for this university to accept a conservative point of view as an acceptable point of view. That's what we want. You know, I'd like to move the pendulum back to the middle. I don't need it to go all the way over to the right. I just want to move the pendulum back to the middle. We have a great program that will talk about a number of these things, and I will come back a little bit later and wrap up and give you more about, about the board. And right now, I'm going to turn the program over. You, are you going to do the introduction to Alan? I will turn the podium back over to Jim, and he will introduce Alan Stamp. Thank you.